Andrese. We're today we're jumping into the Handmaid's Tale season two, episode one. Oh, I like that. Um, just so you guys know, it is summertime here in New York. Well, it's summertime like almost everywhere. Well, in the United States because uh, all around the world there's different seasons. Um, but over here it's really effing hot. So you guys know what that means. Once again, I'm gonna have the fan and the AC on, and my microphone picks up people walking down the street outside or down the block. So you guys might hear a little a little sounds. Just know it's just because I don't feel like sweating to death with this big ass ring light and this all this hot ass shit just b the lights galore. Um hair flap. But um just so you guys know that's I just wanted to give that little quick disclaimer. Also let's talk about another disclaimer. I don't know exactly what studio owns. I thought it was Hulu but it actually it is a, like a, another studio that actually owns The Handmaid's Tale. And they're not too strict, but they're strict enough. So they already have copyright claimed a few of my Handmaid's Tales. And maybe, you know, maybe I was just trying to give a little extra content to the viewers. Maybe, maybe I just did a little too much. So I'm going to be pushing back on how I edit The Handmaid's Tale. I, I find editing this show pretty easy. It almost reminds me of like Better Call Saul because it the, the dialogue is spaced out. I don't know why I'm giving a tutorial on how I edit. But um, I guess I just get, because I love this show so much, I do put a lot of the content out and they're not about that life. So guys, I have to give you guys the, the big disclaimer and give you the heads up. If you would like to see this in a full reaction, we are going to be watching The Handmaid's Tale, the whole damn show, of all the way up to I think it's season six um, of the show. I don't think it's on anymore. But if you would like to see a full reaction, guys, you guys can. This episode will be available for a full reaction for my entire platform here on the YouTube platform that will always help copyright my sh as well as my other platform, Patreon. So guys, if you would like to see this once again in a full reaction and you want to support this channel, please join one of those platforms today. Um, this is the begging portion. As you guys know, it's going to happen. It's going to happen on every video, okay? Please hit that like button. Please share this video. Guys, comment down below and give me your thoughts about the episodes and let me know of anything that you guys might know in this episode that I probably most likely has missed. Um, now without further ado, ooh, let's jump into the handmade tale and find out exactly what the handmaids has got to give. Yeah, but... Hi, Joan! Ah! What's happening? I'm like so scared. Actual oh, fuck. fuck. Hey, how you feeling, Banana? 
Uh, I'm hungry. Yeah, that's good. They take a casting on the daughter. All right, two more bites of yogurt. Tylenol. Oh, I need some uh, deodorant and some batteries. And I need you to sign the form for my refill on my last month. Yep, there's a line for husband. It's ridiculous. I mean, I don't have to pick them up. Let's go, Mom. Okay, pumpkin. Don't get them. Don't pick them up. Are you talking about having another kid? That's yeah. I hate when I, my ADD acts up and I zone out for 2.5 seconds. We're leaving. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Such spoiled girls you are. He has given you everything and he asked you for your faith. You refuse the will of God and you say, I know better. I'm up to you. Don't you remember? what it was like before. There is more than one kind of freedom. Freedom to and freedom from. That is a gift Holy from girl. God. What? Alfred has been keeping a secret. He has been filled with his divine life. May we say, praise be his mercy. How do we greet a miracle? We whine like sick dogs? Praised be his mercy! Praised be his mercy indeed! Get her out of these wet things. There's nothing like hot soup on a rainy day. You're eating for two. <laughs> I'm not hungry. Loss of appetite is common these first few weeks, and we are going to make sure you get absolutely everything you need. You'll just have to be my very good girl. You could do that, can't you? We certainly won't have any more theatrics, will we? Oh, what a waste of energy. And for what? But nothing. Janine isn't nothing. She could have gone to God quickly, surrounded by her friend. Friends don't stone their friends to death. Every handmaid who followed you into disobedience will face the consequences, but not you. You are with child, you are protected. But you know that, standing in defiance, but risking nothing. I'm not hungry. A walk then. Is that Janine? Of Wyatt was having a hard time at home. Drink, drain cleaner. Just terrible. We simply cannot abide. Months can feel like quite a long time. <laughs> Blessed be the fruit. May the Lord open. Shall we get you something to eat then? Line up. Straight line. Move up. They're gonna watch her eat. Of Robert. You're first. No. 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 Apologies when no. it comes time to pay no. the piper. But only in suffering will we find grace. You've been buzzing. I'm sorry, thanks. Bye. This is my daughter's school. This is June Osborne. Um, you called me. My daughter is Hannah Bankhole. Who's running a temperature? Um, 101.1. A little warm when she woke up. I gave her some Tylenol to break it down. Bankhole, Hannah isn't here. When we couldn't reach you, we called an ambulance. Which hospital? University Children's. Thank you. See, they call a hospital? Feeling. Yucky. I know. I'm sorry. We're still waiting on a few blood tests and then she can go home. Oh, thank God, thank you. You have a few quick questions for you, Mrs. Binkle. June Osborne, sure. She's your biological child? Uh, yes. 
Bull was having a hard time reaching you today. Uh-huh. I went back about 10 months after Hannah was born. Oof, that must have been hard. Has Ben works full time as well? Yep. And where is he today? Are you he should be heading back. There's probably traffic. I stay home with her, or my husband does. You have to miss work then? No. Did you medicate Hannah this morning to lower her fever? And Tylenol. Did you medicate her to bypass the school's fever policy? She was a little warm. She wasn't sick. So apparently she was. I understand, Mrs. Bankhole. You have to make certain that they are in a safe home environment. With fit parents. Just have a few more questions, Mrs. Bankhole. Who is this lady? Osborne. June Osborne. What are your questions? Ask Mrs. Waterford, or is this a woman nurse? Blessed day. Blessed day. Yes, Mrs. Waterford. <laughs> well, that's very good news. I will not have any more recalcitrants. And all of your games and your secrets, all of that smart girl bullshit is finished. Get upset, Serena. <laughs> it's bad for the baby. Shall we? Let's see what we can see. What's he gonna see? He can't see nothing but a vagina. Oh, the screen. <laughs> It's still very early, so we won't hear a heartbeat, but if we're lucky, there's some pronounced endometrial thickening, which is just what we want to see. And that is your baby, Mrs. Waterford. God has created a new soul. <laughs> Blessings to the proud parents. It wasn't by his sperm. God bless you. She is a fucking psycho. Gorgeous though. She's a gorgeous psycho. <laughs> Godspeed. June. He's with her. Godspeed, June. Godspeed. Taking command of all your units. Missing handmaid is with child. Right now, she is the only priority. guys with machine guns just, just started shooting from the galleries. They don't know how many were killed. It's, it's a lot. All these signs, get the hell out. White House, there's been some kind of explosion. What is happening? I don't know. Mommy. Listen, Mommy. child, there's a lot going on, girl. I don't feel good. I hate to stay. That was the issue. You stayed. You should have left. It's okay. Stay inside. Someone will come for you. Go in grace. But you, what about your daughter? Hey. Where are we? Black Bay. Come on. Put these on. We need to cut your hair. Can't get you out of the city. Not yet. They have a place you can stay. So it's safe to move. I don't think she's gonna leave yet. Never mind. She's totally leaving. <laughs> June. You're here. That's a tracker, right? She said, I don't wanna lose you. June Osborne. I am from Brookline, Massachusetts. I'm five weeks pregnant. I am free. Well, well, oh, I like that. That was a 9.5 to a 10. 
where do I get these numbers from? Like, that was a, <laughs> that was a 9.5. <laughs> that was a 10. That was a 10. Uh, over, all around, I actually am gagged at this moment. I'm like, wow, I, I honestly didn't believe that she was gonna escape. Um, I thought that she was gonna be like, okay, wait. I remember what Miss Waterford said, and Miss Waterford said that if anything happens to my baby, then it's gonna happen to her baby. So what is going to happen with her daughter? What is going to now happen with this? And Nick was involved in this. And so what's gonna happen? Like, is she gonna go back with her husband? Or is she gonna stay with Nick? Like, if I had the choice, I'd be with Nick. Um, I'm like, sorry, hubby, but you weren't around during the hardest parts of my life, so. Bye! Um, but I'm just cold and heartless and also single, so that would always be an option. Two men, whatever. Um, but yes, I can't, she cut, what was in her ear? One. Two, Nick was involved this whole time with, uh, that. I thought he was gonna go and be with the secret, uh, society trying to get Mr. Word of, uh, with the, the commander and put him in jail and, or kill him. But now we have a whole situation. So, as soon as she cut her hair, I said, yeah, it's a wrap. Like, she's definitely free. Like, she's not gonna get caught. Uh, not at all. Uh, I hope that in the ne next episode she doesn't. That would be sickening. Um, once again, everything they were doing to the, um, to the handmaids, I hope that, but I just don't understand where they could go for how many seasons? <laughs> guys. Let's find out together. Shall we? Did I exit out? I always exit out. I exed it the fuck out. Um, I think there was six seasons. Are, are we really gonna have three this season and all the four, five, six, three more seasons? I could have three more seasons of her trying to set free the handmaids and get her daughter back? Three seasons! I do know that uh, you guys, somebody said, I don't know who that was, I can't remember. Hi, subscriber! <laughs> um, but a subscriber definitely said that that was the ending, the last season was the ending of the book. I guess it was only one book of The Handmaid's Tale. I don't know. I never even knew there was a book. I think people told me before that this was based on a book, but I always forgot because, you know, ADD is real and oops, I got it. Um, but I'm shocked, bewildered, and surprised that, that if that was the ending of the book and there was no other book, that would have been like a bad ending for me. I, I would have read it and be like, shaking the book, like, where's the missing pages? Because her just like leaving, it was so open-ended, and maybe they did it on purpose as an open-ended to continue on, possibly, if they felt like it. Um, but I generally know that a lot of TV shows, if they're based on a novel, they kind of go coincide with each other, like there would be more books that would then open up the gate to the, another episode uh, or another season. And they did that with um, another show because, was it Game of Thrones? I think Game of Thrones had like, what, three books or so like that, I think. And then I think that he kept, they didn't film or something. I might be lying to you guys, but I think Game of Thrones was like that. And like, then he finished it up and as he finished it up, like, the show kind of made their own rendition, but like kind of knew what he was going to do because he talked to the author, and that's how to, they they try to uh, wrap up their uh, wrap up that horrible ending of the show. But um, I will never let that down. Who wrote that? I think it was two brothers. I think. But um, back to this show. Yeah, this is crazy. I just don't see how we're gonna have so many more seasons of this show, which is phenomenal. This show, this show hasn't had, I think it had one kind of sleeper episode, like, and it wasn't even a sleeper episode. Like, it had moments where I was kind of bored, but the moments lasted probably like five minutes. And then I went right back into, like, it being amazing. I just don't understand what we're going to do. But listen, I'm here for it. Can I be a cheater? I think I want to be a cheater. I want to know what the next, oh, should I? I don't want to be, I kind of want, yeah, I'll just, I just want to, no, I won't. I was going to actually go see what the next episode, the title of the episode was, um, because I was just kind of curious, but I'm not going to. Uh, I'll wait until the next time I film and keep it to like a pure reaction. Guys, I'm such a good reactor. Duh. Boop, boop. Good job, Andres. But yeah, so this was an amazing episode. Everything about it, the writing, the acting, um, the aunt, 
Aunt Lydia is such a conflicted character. You can see, like, she literally doesn't want to do half the shit that she does, but she does it because she has to do half the shit she does. Uh, Miss Waterford is absolutely fucking insane. Um, she is a lunatic, but she's gorgeous. And, like, I just can't hate her. I'm like, girl, your skin is flawless. Like, they probably barely put any makeup or touch-ups or anything on you to make you look gorge. You are gorge. Her husband, like, her husband's also gorgeous. And, um, <laughs> I, <laughs> let me leave what I was about to say. Because sometimes I realize, like, I keep forgetting that my platform is a platform for everybody, not just gay people. And so, like, sometimes when I start talking about men and, like, what I was about to say, like, I know the women and the gay men would appreciate what I was about to say, but the straight guys, I won't do it to you guys. Love you guys, though. No homo. Um, but yeah, so, uh, yeah. So, Mr. We'll leave, we'll leave the commander where he is. He's a he's a good character. Very good character to have in the show. Um, Nick, once again, big shocker. All the handmaids, that one lady who's definitely in this, uh, what is it called? Whatever the, the rebellion is called. She got her hand burnt the F up. She's also gorgeous. Well, a lot of the handmaids are gorgeous, too. I think all of them are gorgeous. This show, actually, everybody's actually very attractive. Even Aunt Lydia is not an ugly lady. Like, like... <laughs> Child, I'm so serious. Like everybody, I'm like, I just realized it's like everybody's actually very attractive. Um, the I like the little callback that we got that the doctor who was a pedophile or not a I shouldn't that's a that's a very bad word to use. He's not what is that? He's a pervert. That's the that was the proper P word. He's a pervert. Um he was back and better than ever for Christmas this year. The pervert's here. Um, so, <laughs> he did his one, too. And I think that was it. I think that... And we, we saw the the um, dead animals with the, the butcher. So, I mean, we had so many callbacks of last season with these other returning characters. And it seemed like as soon as it started, it fucking ended. Like, oh my god, I just cursed again on my platform. I'm trying not to. But, yes, it, this was just an amazing episode, as I said. It, when a show starts and it finishes and you don't even know that time even just passed. It's phenomenal. It's fucking amazing. I just cursed again. Um, so I can't wait till we get into episode two, guys. I'm letting you guys know. Once again, this might be copywritten. This might be blocked, okay? I don't remember who the studio is that owns it, but screw you! Um, but, uh, yeah, they clearly, you know, they don't mind us using their content, but they definitely want less of it. So, if you would like to see this, once again, for reaction, guys, I give you, I give you guys glory and justice for the, these reactions, you guys could totally join the channels, guys. Um, I should stop saying guys. Let's not put a gender on it. Let's just say my peoples. Um, so, my peoples, if you wanted to see this in a full reaction, please, please, please join. Bloopers, bloopers, bloopers. I want you guys to join. I want you to be able to see this in a full reaction. They, YouTube, YouTube is a corporation now. So, they edited that video down to eight minutes, okay? Eight minutes and some odd seconds out of all 28 something minutes I put on there for you guys to enjoy my reaction. So please join the channel. Please enjoy join me into this amazing show and let's talk about it guys comment down below let's try to get these likes up let's try to get the comments up and please share this video to the handmaid's tale over there on twitter or facebook or ig make a post saying try to support me if you guys can love you guys all the way down and let's continue on to this amazing journey with episode two of season two it will be filmed i hopefully i could do it this weekend and then put it out next week um so guys bear with me and thank you guys so much for being here i just did the, i just the gender thing again. Thank you, bloopers, for being here, and I'll see you guys next time with more The Handmaid's Tale. Bye.